Hey guys, it's Karen. So today I want to share with you what is in my carry-on bag when I'm on a long-haul flight. If you see my other video on how to pack only one backpack for carry-on travel, you would know that I travel pretty light and in fact all of my luggage is carry-on. So typically what I do is to pack one backpack and that's everything I need for the trip. I'll also put a smaller bag into the backpack and when I get through security, I'll take the small bag out of the backpack to keep with me under my seat and I will chuck the backpack in the overhead bin. So this small bag is going to contain everything I need during the flight so I don't need to be constantly taking out my backpack and taking things out and putting it back in. All of the important things are in this smaller bag close to my body and it will also contain everything I need during the flight. So the bag I love to travel with is of course our very own this is the full-size anti-theft waterproof crossbody and it's really just so ideal for travel. It's anti-theft so it has a lot of features such as slash proof material and locking zippers and it will also be completely waterproof. The body is waterproof and the zippers are waterproof. So if you're traveling and you forget your umbrella or you're caught in a sudden downpour, your stuff, your important documents and your electronics are going to be completely safe. So I'm going to be showing you guys what I carry in this bag and also how I like to organize my bag itself. First of all, let's talk about the front pocket. Now the front pocket is actually a built-in wallet. As you can see here, it has card slots. So this bag has 10 cards in it and then also a slot for bills. So in terms of what I like to keep in this wallet portion, I'm going to carry some cash of the local currency of my destination. I don't really like changing currency at the airport because the rates tend to be a little bit worse there. So I'll carry some of the local currency but also some American money just in case when I get back home um, I can have some money to use and for some reason I only have three dollars but that's good enough. And that fits perfectly in the bill pocket. This bill pocket is actually a little bit bigger than what you see on a typical American wallet so that it can accommodate even larger bills of foreign currencies. For cards, I like to carry a debit card and a credit card. Ideally, you want to find one that is going to not have international fees. And of course, the cards will go in the card slots. So moving on to the larger compartment. In the two wall pockets, I like to keep my passport and my cell phone so that they're standing up and I know exactly where they are. I'm not fumbling around when I get to customs. I also have this really slim external charger and a little USB cable and since it's so small I like to slip it right behind the passport. In the zipper pocket I have three things. I have some headphones which are actually doubling as my earplugs in case the plane is kind of loud and obviously you can listen to music and watch movies and I have some mints to freshen my breath or wake me up or something if I'm feeling a little bit, you know, a little gross from the plane. And I also have a lip balm and this is just a little tinted one. I also have a sleeping mask so that I can sleep on the plane and not have to worry if the person next to me is reading and they have the reading light on or if they open the window it doesn't wake me up. Um, these are also nice and has dried lavender inside so it's soothing, relaxing, something like that. And obviously I'll be using this during the trip as well. I also have a bag inside my bag and it has a bunch of little things inside. I like having my sunscreen. I have some hand sanitizer. I have a toothbrush and some toothpaste in case I want to brush my teeth when I wake up. Some eye drops in case my eyes get dry on the plane. And I have a little sample pack of some face cream. I know some girls will like put on their face mask and put on all their skincare and stuff like that. I can't really be bothered. I have a little bottle here. It's actually refilled with some Bioderma so that I can just cleanse my face really easily without going to the sink. And then I'll take a sample of some sort of product similar to this and then make my skin feel a little nicer. Uh, and I also have a hair tie in case I want to tie my hair up because you're like resting your head against the seat. It's not always the greatest feeling to have like a ponytail or a bun but sometimes I do want to get my hair out of my face so I'll just put like a really ridiculous top knot on the very top of my head and knock out. You're on a plane, no one cares. Comfort is the most important thing when you're on a long haul flight. You know, wear comfortable clothing, don't wear makeup, 
wear your glasses. That whole thing goes inside along with the sleeping mask right next to it. Last but not least is my Kindle and the Kindle is great because then you can just read on the plane. Good entertainment, you could put so many books in here. And that's it, that's in my airplane carry-on bag. I hope you guys found this useful and give you some ideas on what to pack. And if you like the look of this bag, you like the idea of it being anti-theft and waterproof, we're launching this bag on Indiegogo this October on the 10th. If you're watching before 1010, please subscribe to our mailing list so you can be notified right away when the campaign goes live. That's when you get the best deals and we're giving some pretty decent discounts on the page for the early birds. And if you're watching on the 10th or after the 10th, please check out our campaign page and we would love any support that you guys can give us. Even if you can't afford to buy a bag or you're not interested in buying the bag, please give us a tweet, a shout out, post it on Facebook. We'll absolutely love you. Thank you so much for your support. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.